why hello everybody it is kyle here from unboxed autos and today we're going to do a review and walk around on the 2021 mazda 3. now the mazda 3 is been a huge success for the mazda brand and it's always one of the favorite cars of automotive journalists like myself now why you might ask why so the first thing is that the mazda 3 and this has such a phenomenal driving experience and one of the things though that has been complained about over the years is the lack of power but that is no longer an issue for 2021 the mazda 3 sedan and hatchback now come with a new 2.5 liter turbo engine which makes an astounding 250 horsepower and 320 foot pounds of torque now that is good for a new 0 to 60 time for 5.8 seconds now that's obviously really impressive now the Mazda 3 hatchback uh, still has the standard engine as well which is 186 horsepower 186 foot-pounds of torque as well um, and that one starts at twenty two thousand six hundred and fifty dollars for the base hatch that's the S and that even comes with some great standard features like radar cruise control with stop and go now we also have select preferred and premium trims There's some notable features adding there are uh, keyless entry eight-way power seats bose premium sound system there on the top trim level and leather seats plus adaptive lighting and that tops out around twenty eight thousand dollars now for the new 2.5 liter turbo here we're starting at thirty one thousand fifty dollars and uh, that goes up from there now what we have as well is the larger tail lamps, tailpipes. We have iActive all-wheel drive. And of course, again, that comes with the new engine, the 2.5 liter turbo making 250 horsepower and 320 foot-pounds of torque. Now that's obviously a very impressive number for a car of this size and really, really makes you feel alive when driving it. As Mazda says, feel alive. So this car, again, not only does it incorporate such an incredible design, but it also comes with that super impressive engine. I mean, this guy right here is really ready to knock down some serious competition. You know, when you get out onto the back roads or you take it to a track day, I mean, 5.8 seconds, zero to 60 miles an hour for a car that costs $31,000, very, very impressive. Now there's also a premium plus version of the turbo, which is what we have here today. That adds 360 degree parking sensors, black spoiler, as well as this front trim here. As you can see, this blacked out air damp. So that's pretty nifty as well. Now let's go ahead and check out the interior and see what we have going on inside and we'll go from there so now the interior is another area where the Mazda 3 really excels they've always done a phenomenal job as far as premium materials a great build quality and just an overall pleasing aesthetic design language now on the higher trim levels if you get the optional 12 speaker Bose premium sound system you get these really nice speaker grills integrated here into the door panel now there's also this uh, nice material up here which is moderately soft touch then down here we have nice stitching here integrated here with our very soft plush touch leather moving down here we actually have all four windows are able to do a one touch up one touch down which is obviously a nice feature to have right over here we have uh, our controls as you can see we have two selections for seat savings we have just a little area right here for some storage perhaps you want to um, you know put a parking ticket in there or you know maybe a few extra some change or what have you so that's right there we have our 360 degree view camera button right there so if we want to view that we can go ahead I'll show you that in just a, in just a moment or two and right here everything sort of you know surrounds the driver so we have the two air vents right here sort of tilted slightly towards the driver which uh, give you an in control feeling 
right here we have the digital instrument cluster in the center here. So there's some reconfigurable things that you can do there. There's that view right there, which shows you, you know, your lane. If you have the distance guided cruise control on, it will show that to you. Then we just have our standard view there of the speedometer. We also have some driving information and then right back to that. And then obviously on the left hand side we have our tachometer, right hand side we have our fuel gauge as well as our uh, engine temperature. Right here again we have very premium soft touch controls here. We have these nice metal buttons here which is a very high quality touch. We have the Mazda logo front and center there. Nice size steering wheel. It's uh, it's a good size for the car. And it's uh, very easy to hold on to. I like the three spoke sporty design as you guys can see there. It is a nifty one. So we definitely like that a lot. Moving over here, we have push to start obviously. We have all of our controls right here uh, for our temperature settings and, and things of that nature. We have uh, the heated steering wheel button right there. We have three different levels of heated seats. Uh, we have auto climate control. And again, moving on you know, back to those high touch, high quality materials, we have these nifty little buttons right there for our air temperature controls. And right here we have a digital screen, right? So we can see right here the different levels of blower speed. We have, of course, we want to do a recirc or just external air, AC, and things like that. On the high trim level too, we also, of course, have the passenger heated seat that is, of course, included with the driver heated seat. But of course, to get the heated steering wheel heated seats, you have to step up just a little bit as far as trim levels go. Right here we have our gear selector, very standard, very um, you know easy system to use. Obviously, you know to put it in reverse, you just go back like that, and then park is just forward right there. We have our sport mode button, which does actually do a fair amount of stuff, and we'll get that into that in a moment when we talk a little bit more you know about the driving uh, characteristics of this vehicle. Uh, everything here is controlled by this center dial and these four stationary buttons for the multimedia system. The seats are incredibly comfortable. Love the seats. Very, very supportive. They're a good size. Sometimes, you know, seats in these smaller vehicles are a little bit too small, but not, not in this one. They are definitely a, a good size. Uh, but back, you know, when you engage the sport mode button, you'll actually see a little, a little pop up there, right down there below the speedometer. And it lets you know, obviously, that sport mode is engaged. And what that does is it changes shift patterns, throttle response, um, and uh, tightens up the, the steering a little bit. Now, the Mazda 3 is already a very sporty car to begin with. And, you know, engaging that sport mode button just further increases its athleticism. And, yeah, I mean, this, the build quality is just phenomenal. I think this car is at a great price point. It's going to be very successful, especially with the addition here of the larger engine. Definitely a great feature to have. So that's that's all we have for you guys today. Please feel free to drop any comments below if you have anything you want to know more about the 2021 Mazda 3 hatch or sedan and I'll be happy to get to that. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and watch our full driving review video on the 2021 Mazda 3 hatchback. Take care guys.